did you know that we have about 60,000 thoughts per day? That's a lot of thoughts. And every time that you have a thought, chemicals are produced in your brain that can trigger reactions that are felt in your body. And so this month in the Healthy Leader Inner Circle, we're diving into learning how to manage those thoughts and master them for self-leadership and also for wellness and well-being or well-beingness. And the foundation of this process is to recognize, first and foremost, that there is a really strong correlation between what you are thinking and how you are feeling or how you are emoting. And because we are thinking all of the time, like breathing, we tend to forget that we're doing it. It's just something that we do. But then what happens is that we don't realize how much our thoughts dictate how we feel every day and, and really every hour and every moment. So since we can't track every single thought that we have, nor would we really want to, <laughs> what we can do is to zero in on the thoughts that we can hear, like when we are actually talking to ourselves. And we can focus on those thoughts and they are a little bit like, hmm, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. I probably should call them. Oh, you know what? I probably should call my mom first. I haven't talked to her in a while. And uh, actually what I need to be doing here is focusing in on this project here. I've been doing a pretty good job of focusing, except for, and it just goes on and on and on like that. <laughs> and so we can think of those thoughts like clouds. They're random and they're passing by. And we can generally see them, but we may not pay a whole lot of attention to them. And the ones that can turn a sunny day into a cloudy day, see how I did that, <laughs> are the thoughts that have certain words in them. And I want for you to be on the lookout for certain thoughts. I'm going to give you three examples because even though they're just passing by, they actually have an impact on your experience. So if you're wondering, gosh, why am I feeling so stressed or sad or upset about something and you can't figure out why, it could be your floating thoughts. So here are three type of cloud thoughts, if you will, and how you can shift the words in those thoughts so that they aren't casting a shadow over you. And the first series of words to be aware of are the words never or always, as in I always mess this up, or I've never been able to lose weight, or this is what always happens during these meetings, right? And obviously when we're talking like that, the thought is based on the past. And here's the thing. It is one thing to understand the past and to use the past as experience and to use it as, and give you wisdom. And it's quite another to stay stuck in the present because really when we're saying always or never, and we're talking in that way, usually what we're trying to intimate is that, and that's the way it's going to be. So just get used to it. And instead of that, what we can do is we can say that this has been the experience in the past and moving forward, we are going to do this, or I'm going to do this. And so that sounds like, in my past, my experience was that I couldn't figure this out. But moving forward, what I'm going to do is a little bit more research, or I'm going to ask somebody about it, or this is what I will do. Or in the past, I was always focused on diet and exercise, and this time, I am going to practice integrating some thought work. <laughs> and that feels a lot sunnier for us. Now, the second type of cloud thoughts are negative judgments. And I distinguish negative judgments from judgments because we're judging all the time, right? Our brains have to do that. They're designed to do that. We use our past experience so that we can make safe decisions going forward. That's what we do. But negative judgments are thoughts like, I'm such an idiot, or that person has absolutely no idea what they are doing. And you can just feel the yuck dripping off of those statements. They certainly do not make us feel good. So instead of those, replace those statements with the facts. And so you might say, I didn't get those numbers wrong on that spreadsheet, I made a mistake. Fact. When so-and-so starts to speak, she's really nervous and sometimes she forgets some of her points. Fact. Totally different. Right? You can't help but feel a little empowered and feel, and feel a little compassion when you're just kind of stating what is. It gives you this distance, which is so much, to continue with this analogy, sunnier. <laughs> And then the final cloud thoughts to be aware of is really about the language of blame. And so the way that you can recognize this is that is any time that you are pointing outside of yourself and then assigning responsibility for something or someone else out there in a negative way and then referencing back to the reason why you couldn't do something. So for example, it'd be like, oh, the weather is a reason that I didn't get to work out today or they didn't have their numbers ready so I couldn't get it done or <laughs> the ever popular, the traffic made me late. So first, 
honestly, nobody really cares, right? <laughs> They've got their own things going on, and it sounds irresponsible, even if it happens to be true. So in the exercise option, ideally, you can say, it was raining, so I went out anyway, <laughs> or I went on my treadmill, or I did jumping jacks instead. And you can also say, you know, it was raining outside, and I didn't want to run in the rain, period, right? Or I'm going to figure out how I can support Mary with getting her numbers ready. So instead of pointing out there, what we're doing is we're really pointing within and taking responsibility, which is what you do anyway as a leader. So we have a lot of thoughts during the day. And so if we start paying attention to the ones that we are conscious of, the ones that we can hear, and transform that never and always to my experience has been that, and this is what I'm going to create going forward, or turning those negative judgments just into factual statements, or focus on when you hear yourself pointing out there to turn within and take responsibility, then you really do create a much sunnier atmosphere. It feels good to everybody around you, and it certainly feels so much better to you. So go forth, catch those cloudy thoughts, and create sunny ones.